Many people debate the pros and cons between cable TV and satellite. Is a dish better or the hardwired cable? John Mattery shows us the downside of one of those services so you don't waste your money. Many people have switched from cable to dish TV services because satellite TV tends to cost a little bit less. But there are some downsides. You're no longer dealing with a local cable company. And if there's a local issue or tragedy, you may not get the same service. You're looking at where the house used to sit. Jeff DeMoss had his life turned upside down March 2nd when storm winds ripped apart the modular home he and his fiance had just moved into. That's your stuff? Oh, yeah. What's left of it? About the only thing left was the post with their electric meter and satellite dish for the dish TV. We uh, called to cancel our service, told them what happened. Only problem, their rented DISH network receiver was lost. We kept getting letters in the mail saying, we need you to return the receiver or we're going to have to charge you 300 bucks for it. Jeff says he even asked an emergency management official to contact DISH network, but... A couple days later, we had the money taken out of our account. DISH network gets a C-plus rating with the Better Business Bureau, with 13,000 complaints the past three years. However, DISH's contract states leased equipment must be returned undamaged and in working order, so legally the company did nothing wrong. But when we contacted DISH's media relations department, a spokeswoman promised to look into DeMoss's complaint immediately. Do you think it's right that they're demanding $300? Uh, I understand they want their property back, but I don't have it. In the end, Dish Network apologized for the billing, saying it was not aware of the extent of the tornado damage, and it will issue Jeff and his fiance a full refund. Bottom line, if you ever lose cable or satellite equipment to an act of God, you need to escalate the complaint. That way you don't waste your money. I'm John Matteris.